Hello! In this video tutorial, you will learn how to darken the sky without artifacts in 3D LUT Creator. I have this picture here, it was sent by Dimitri. He asked the question, how do I darken the sky without getting artifacts? Let's try to do it in the camera raw. I go to HSL Luminance tab and darken the aquas and blues. As we can see, we get a bright stroke around the trees. Let's reset the corrections and open this photo in Photoshop. Let's look at the picture closely. If we look at the branch, we can see that the right edge of it is lighter and the left edge is darker. This is caused by lens chromatic aberration. Let's compare the red and blue channels. When I turn on the red channel, the image moves to the left. Now let's see the right side of the image. When I turn on the red channel, the image moves to the right. That is due to the lens aberration the image spreads in the channels. The image in the red channel looks bigger. As a result, we get these strokes. The right side of the tree is light, the left side is dark. If we try to darken the blue color, the strokes get more visible. This is due to the fact that the stroke gets its color from the blend of brown wood and blue sky. That is, it has a neutral color, and therefore it is not darkened. To complicate the task, let's blur a part of the image, as if it is out of focus. I set the radius to 15. Let's see how the darkening works in this case. Artifacts become even greater. In order to see it clearly, I take a small part of the image and enlarge it. Let's open that image in the 3D LUT Creator and try to darken the sky there. The easiest tool to darken the sky is the volume. It allows you to take the brightness from one of the RGB channels. Let's see the red, green, and blue channels. In the red channel, we have the darkest sky, so I shift the points towards red, remove light and effect, and leave only darken. Here is the before and the after. Let's look closer. There aren't any strong artifacts, but perhaps we need to remove these bright strokes around the branches which appear as a result of the lens defect. Let's try to darken it even more. I move the point further, and this part of the image gets black. To avoid this, you can use the Shadows Highlights mode. In this mode, one point is responsible for changing brightness in the shadows, and the other one is responsible for changing brightness in the highlights. As you can see, the highlights point affects only the sky so I can darken the sky more and the water doesn't get as black as before. And now we start to get some artifacts. To darken it even more, I can move the darken slider to the right. So here is the stroke and we will get rid of it. Let's think about why it appears. Volume tool darkens the blue. But here we have a smooth transition from the blue to the green color. Let's see how this LUT works on the color wheel. The boundary between the color that is darkened and the one that is not darkened always passes through neutral. We can turn this border, but it always goes through the center. Therefore, let's try another way. Let's move on to the AB tab and try to darken the sky. These two points are responsible for the sky. I will try to darken them. 
and we have a sharp stroke. Why? Because the color that is on the edge is a mixture of blue and green. We can see that the transition between blue and green has a pretty long span. That is, if we want to have a smooth transition, we need to darken the color gradually from this point to this one. Let's try to do it in a square grid. I pin these colors and darken those. The border got smoother, but we darkened something extra. To avoid darkening the dark colors, I disable the influence on the shadows and adjust the threshold between highlights and shadows. For example, like this. Let's take a look at the whole picture. There are no sharp strokes anywhere. Here is the before and the after. We only darkened the sky. This can also be done on the CL grid. I will rotate the grid so as to get the sky on the far side of one of them. To do this, I take the eyedropper and click on the sky. Here is the color of the sky, then it gradually turns into the color of the foliage. The foliage is in this area. To darken the sky, I pin the point at which the color transition ends. Also, I pin the top and bottom points, so these colors are not moved, and I try to darken everything from the left. Please note that I pull the neutral axis. I darken the neutrals as well as the blue colors. Here's what I did. The transition again becomes smooth without sharp strokes. If I darken it even more, then the dark border appears. That is, I darken the dark colors also. Let's restore them back. For example, like this. Here is the before and the after. Let's send the LUT to Photoshop. Let's look closely. Everything has turned out very well. The strokes are reduced and the bright leaves haven't changed. They are brighter than the sky now. On the histogram, we see that we have huge headroom of the dynamic range and all the image can be made brighter. If we hadn't darkened the sky, then it would look like this. Let me remind you that we get this result in the 3D LUT creator, and we didn't use masks. I hope this video was useful, and now you know how to darken the sky in 3D LUT creator. Subscribe to the channel, put likes, goodbye.